So yeah, moin the beige. Um, yeah. Hi there and welcome back to another episode of the 32-bit rant and today we are looking at this keyboard. Uh, hold on, hold on. Um, it's an HP, the model number is... I have no idea. And Oh wait, it's a 5181 keyboard. It's from an HP pavilion that I never owned. I bought the keyboard for £3. But um, it's a great keyboard just for daily use. I would highly recommend it. I think. We'll wait and see. This thing here to the untrained eye would be a keyboard. And yeah, you'd be right. Well, if you knew what it was, you'd know it's a keyboard. And everybody knows that. But... It's a bit of a different keyboard in the sense that obviously there's multimedia controls. This is my daily keyboard, mostly because I just love the, the clip that it makes. There's a decent amount of travel on these keys. And my, key, my computer's now shouting at me. Uh, numbers also work. For example, you'll actually see that these bounce pretty well. These media controls are great as well. Um, Skip between songs, you have stop, back, play, forward, and eject for your CDs. It doesn't work on Windows 10 for some reason. I do have a CD drive installed, by the way. Uh, volume up and down. Uh, that's to open up music services, but that doesn't work either. And that's your mute button. So the rest of these work. So you've got your number pad here. I like this. This is decent for when I'm doing proper work. Arrow keys, buttons, the whole key of the words. And there's a, obviously... As it being an HP, there's a lot of like functions that puts your computer to sleep still. Yeah, that's an H. That's a question mark button. Then there's the HP button. There's the print one. Obviously, question marks for help. I should have said that. One for your camera, I believe. Then there's like internet ready buttons, and this probably would have been a great selling point for this keyboard back in the early days. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Overall, I do believe that this keyboard is absolutely excellent and would be ideal if you are a bit of a keyboard nerd like myself or just love cl clicky keyboards and typing. Um, it's not mechanical, it's rubber domed, but that shouldn't really take away from anything because it still feels decent to work with. I'm sure there's people out there that will beg to differ and frankly don't start an argument with me. I can't be bothered with it. So anyway, thank you for watching. You have been watching the 32-bit run. I reviewed a keyboard. Again, have I done it before? I don't know. Um, so anyway, yeah, 21 subscribers, this is getting, it's fairly picking up speed now, <laughs> uh, to say the least. Um, so yes, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever takes your fancy. Thank you, stay safe, and good night.